everybody, I'm Just Lance, and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. And I'm quite sure that the title of this video has some of you confused. Um, because it is. It's Tag Videos Gone Wild. Um, I figured if girls could do Go Wild back in the 90s and early 2000s, you know what? It's about time wet shaving does. Anyhow, so this one I'm going to take the more recent tag videos I've watched and kind of squish them all into one video. So it's going to be an interesting shave. As far as my tags go, um, I'm tagging every damn person. Everybody. If you're a subscriber or not, I don't care. If you're a YouTuber or not, I don't care. If you want to do it, great. If not, then that's cool too. Um, you know, if you don't have a channel, then you know what? Just do it at home. Uh, and see what kind of results you get. So anyhow, so that's my tags. Um, quick bit of housekeeping. Two new subscribers. Um, they're not new. One is more recent than the other. Um, but they commented on my last video, World's Best Safety Razor, and I asked them if they were subscribers, and they both answered yes. The first one is Gabriel Ray and if I mess this up, I'm sorry, Gabriel. Salas Shave, or Shaves. Um, he's going to be posting his first video here really soon. Um, he's got five subscribers. I imagine they're friends, family, whatever. But um, So I'll be checking that out, and I'll let you all know how that video came out. So welcome, Gabriel. I hope you enjoy your time here. And the other one is, I don't know if it, if the person is male or female. I can't see pictures. So um, in their YouTube, the name they go by on YouTube is Smells Exquisite. Anyways, um, Smells Exquisite, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy your time here. Um, they said they were wet shaving fans, so you know what? Hey, cool. Um, the more the merrier. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be using in this video. First, we'll take a look at the three razor aspect from the three razor one shave, which I just, I wasn't tagged in, but I did the video anyways. The first razor for the with the grain pass, I'm going to be going with, knocked my brush over. Going to be going with my E2 or 1959 second quarter Gillette 195 adjustable, also known as a Fat Boy, and that will be on setting nine. For the across the grain pass, I'm going to go with my stainless steel matte finish Rockwell 6S, and the plate will be setting six. And for the against the grain, I'm going to go with another vintage, and it is my Gillette Slim Adjustable, and that's going to be on number three. The blade is one I've never used, so I've got a Gillette Silver Blue Rescue Blade, so just in case I don't get along with it. And it is, I got a pack, I received a pack of five, um, along with my uh, Senator from Vintage Blade, and it is a Big Ben Super Stainless. Never used the Big Ben Super Stainless blades, so we'll go ahead and see what that's like, and this will be the first use on that blade. The brush will be my Razor Rock 400 Synthetic Orange Handle Brush. Rowan Ash Brush. The bowl will be my Timeless Lathering Bowl. And for the three soaps, or one soap, one croak, one cream. The soap will be, I got a lot of stuff here guys, so it might take me a minute to paint. Um, pretty, really good soap, and I was feeling really green, so everything's kind of a green, green theme here. I want something kind of green uh, for the scent, and it is lovely Parasso Green, Eucalyptus and Menthol. Got a nice, nice, nice scent. Some people are not a big fan of it, but I happen to like it. That's the soap. The crop is going to be another green scent, and it is Captain's Choice North. 
it smells it smells like you're in a in a in a pine forest and the juniper berries are blooming because it's got juniper in it. It just reminds me of the woods during the winter or during you know during the, the colder part of the year. So that and the cream, it's not a uh, cream that you normally use a brush with, but I'm gonna add it to the mix and it is Crimo Cooling. And it's kind of a minty scent. So, those three kind of cool you down a little bit. Let me move something here. Oh, my bad. One moment, guys. I got a mess I got to clean up. Ended up knocking over a big cup of water with my elbow as I was putting down the crimo. Made a mess. Had to clean it up. Anyways, so, let's go ahead. Let's load the first razor up, the Gillette Fat Boy. With the Big Ben Super Stainless. It is a single wrapped blade. No glue bumps or wax wax bumps. And the blade looks like that. And like that. Now smells exquisite, did ask me. If there was something wrong with my eyes and I let them know that I was born with congenital glaucoma and the right eye is prosthetic and the left eye is um, see light and shadows um, it's a little ways back in my history it's my second video um, wet shaving blindness and some things I've learned along the way is the title of the video um, are the blindness and the wet shaving could be reversed. I can't remember which. Um, but if you're interested, go check out that video. I talk uh, quite a bit about, about my vision. So, that is loaded and that is on 9. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up the bowl with the all-time Old Faithful um, Flash Boredom's favorite, Mickey Mouse Spoon. Um, he commented on a video, and he kind of, kind of, um, you know, kind of was a little humorous about me using Mickey Mouse spoon. Yes, I'm a grown man. I'm 49 damn years old, but I like my Mickey Mouse spoon. It was my son's spoon when he was a little bitty guy, so um, I like using it. Where did I? There's the green. Oops. Just dropping crap all over the place. Since I'm a head shaver, we'll use that much. Hands are a little shaky tonight. So pardon me. Well, Smush that down in there. You know I'll go for a little bit more of the parasso. But the heck, it's only soap. All I can do is waste it. <laughs> But most wet shavers, they don't want much for soap. Alright. The next one is Captain's North, the Captain's Choice North. I actually won this in a giveaway. I won a giveaway, a Captain's Choice giveaway uh, last year. And, um, it was about most favorite memory of summer and um, my girlfriend and I and our son had just went down to Los Angeles and 
It was the Paris Train Museum or something like that, Railway Museum. And because um, my son absolutely loves trains. We go on a trip and he sees a train and he's like a train, a choo-choo train, a choo-choo train. He just loves trains and um, always has. And uh, we took him on 19, early 1900s streetcar, a 1950s diesel electric train that was there. Um, and we'll put a decent amount of the criminal. That wasn't much at all. So, alright. Yep, got a decent amount in there. And he just had an absolute blast. And, uh, my girlfriend got a picture of him and his aunt, Lisa, smiling. Kinda got all of us actually. Got herself. Got me and my guide Herbie. And I said that was gonna be my favorite memory of the summer. And, um, it won. So shook out some of the water. Synthetics is nice. You don't have to soak them. But, uh, so I ended up winning the North. Hmm. It's already making a very nice, pleasant scent. Hmm. The Cremo. It's pretty strong. Starting to thicken up. Parasso's kicking in. Hmm. But, um, so I won the north and, you know, said, hey, if you're a YouTuber and you give my products a, um, yeah, already trying to stand the brush, that is. Said, if you give my Products overview that you can pick a soap, a cream, or a aftershave. So I uh, I chose the 40th parallel, which is kind of I guess their take on Chella. Oh yeah. Look at that, it's standing. Oh yeah, that's some good cream right there. Good lather, good lather. Let me wipe the face. So I went ahead and picked that. and Man, am I glad I picked it. It's a beautiful scented soap. If you like Chella. Yeah, I've never smelt Chella, but I imagine that's probably what they're kind of going after because it's almonds and cherry, so. But it's a beautiful scent. Me and my girlfriend, I mean, we didn't know it was soap. And we was in the zombie apocalypse. And we came across a kick at a house with it. with it in the bathroom or whatever. Hmm? There you go. Um, when we were hungry, we'd probably grab a couple of old dirty spoons and uh, dig into the tub. 
because I smell cherry pine. She smells cherry pie with whipped cream. I think I made a mess of myself here. added just a smidge too much water but you know what what the heck um, should do fine so anyways got the fat boy warmed up here we go oops dot also using my non-dominant hand so can't forget that tag video Hmm. These. Oh man, I screwed up. I'm sorry, guys. I lathered with the wrong hand. I apologize. I apologize. My bad. We'll, we'll let that out again. So, switch over. Mmm, almost got my neck. Nicked myself. Okay. Let me get a little alum on these fingertips. Got a razor rock alum. sitting on the side for being able to so, so I'm gonna work this leather a little more with my right hand wow um, that's not easy. See, right hand guys. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Okay. All right. So real quick. Before I forget to do it, I'm going to switch the blade over to the next razor, the Rockwell 6S, which I lucked out in getting because I actually won it on a clean shaver video. Nice little. Well, I really didn't want it. My girlfriend didn't want it for me. Because the goal was to nominate someone else. I nominated my brother, and uh, my girlfriend nominated me. Nice, nice surprise. She went on right after I did. And, uh, nominate me. So, here we go. Now it's time to apply lather. 
like I was supposed to do in the first pass with the right hand. Awkward. As bad as I thought he'd be, I'll live, but... <coughs> Went in Tuesday. Got my injections. And, um, so far, the right side, having some pain. But the left side, Really nice, no pain. Um, heat this blade up, but it's really nice, no pain. Having stiffness, which I'm 49 years old. But, um, now, like I said, I can handle the stiffness, uh, no problem, because, I mean, like I said, 29 years old. Man, I remember. Friend of mine. At my birthday party. Yeah, you're. Quarter of a century. So, that's interesting to get beneath the nostrils. Check around. Eh, you can screen pass the gator all. So, that was Rockwell 6 on setting 6. Plate setting 6 for the Cross the grain. Just going to rinse off this blade by dropping the neck razor. Hmm, that blade was pretty gunked up. Maybe that's why it didn't seem to cut as good on the cross the grain pass. As I thought it should have. Now, gonna drop this here blade in the slim adjustable 1964 J2 slim adjustable setting three. I'm in blue tip country here, folks. In case you're wondering what I meant by that, Gillette took their trio, their blue tip. Some say black, some say flare. I believe it was flare tip. And red tip. Trios. Razor trio. And combine them all into one. 
on to one handle. That way, so... Uh, well, a man could... You know, you know Gillette's motto. Gillette, the best man can get it, so... Guess they figured... Getting the best of all three worlds. I keep wanting to grab this up with my left hand and just go for it, go painting and all that, but yeah, um, wow. How do you people that are right-handed do this crap? Freaking fish out of water, trying to lather and shave all right handed and stuff. But, um, no promises on whether I'm gonna do my head right handed, probably not. screws on this side. Guess I did better than I thought I did because I ain't picking up a lot of whiskers. Um, if you're a fan of the Red Island Shaver and Or if not, check them out. He's good. No, he just. Oops. Jump around with my right hand. Nope, can't do that. Our left hand. Can't do it if I hand it. You know, guys, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to up this one to actually. The only way I've ever been able to get a blue tip to give me a great shave is with something like a feather. I mean, I still like it. a great razor if you have say you're gonna go out for dinner and yeah maybe a five o'clock shadow and see if that is. Oh, no residual slickness going on here. Got cream on this one. Do this. So. 
might just be that I'm taking a little longer to knock the stubble down. Eh, you know. There we go. Um, anyways, uh, that's good enough. Eh, it's not bad. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off here real quick and I'll be back for the album. See you in a minute. Anyways, Flash, this is for you. Flash Bortle, this is for you. I went ahead and rinsed my face in warm water, followed by beautiful, cold California water. Um, I'm not Welsh. Ooh, yeah, a little bit of bite. Um, hmm. Flash is very proud of his water out in Wales. Um, Probably had something to do with the mineral content and stuff, because different parts of the world had different mineral contents, and that can make them taste better, taste worse. Um, the minerals give the water different properties, so to speak. I'm no geologist or no hydro hydro. I, or hydro guy so that's just what I understand <laughs> anyways so yeah the alum it got me a little bit fired me up down here and here um a little bit on the cheeks but um you know I was shaving um with three razors I'm very familiar with but with a blade I'm not familiar with which is very very smooth blade um Nice blade, not harsh at all. Uh, but I was doing all the shaving right-handed, and I'm a left-handed person. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off one more time in beautiful, cold California water. <laughs> and go ahead and shave my noggin, and I'll see you all back here for the post. See you in a minute. Well, cheeks pretty good. Upper lip, hmm. Got a little right there and there. There. You know what? I'm not worried about it. Uh, a little rough right here and here. But all in all, pretty decent, pretty damn decent shape. Um, the uh, scent. I didn't talk much about the scent. You know, not picking up. A lot of juniper berry. Um, picking up kind of a combo between the Parasso and the Cremo, but the Parasso is stronger. Um, the, because of the Parasso and the Cremo both being mentholated. Yeah, it cooled down pretty nice. It was a nice cooling shave. I'll give it that. It was it was nice. Um, especially the head. After I got past, did my first pass back this way. It really cool. Got cool on that when I applied the cream on the or the lather on the second pass. It really cooled down. So all in all, it was a great shave. Um, a little awkward with the right hand, but you know. I gotta get used to using my right hand if I ever want to use that, um, what do you call it? That Wade and Butcher straight. So, here in the next day or two, the Senator will be going into Razor Emporium. Um, even though the man, the gentleman, David, there at Vintage Blade, said send it back, he'll straighten it out. Um, he was just worried about damaging the razor in any way. Um, so considering that the razor looks like it's either A, been replated, or B, never been used. 
Um, you know, it's worth spending the extra 20 something bucks for the Razor Emporium, Razor Emporium treatment. I think I talked about it last video. Um, I think I mentioned I haven't had a chance to look in my Razor Compendium yet at the world's best safety razor, so I don't have much info on that yet. And I know I mentioned that I got the, my girlfriend got me the repeater at, uh, what do you call it, One Stop Shave Shop. So, Nivea for sensitive skin after shave bomb, which, hmm. I need it right down here a little bit. Razor nailing me hard in a couple of spots is not the fault of the razor whatsoever. Totally user error, I'm gonna say. So I'm not worried about that. But yeah, so we'll send in the razor of the senator, get it fixed. Um, but you know. He was more than willing to, you know, if I want, take the razor back and refund the money. But the senator, their vintage blade, if I want it. However, I've seen how much a replate goes for, for one, replate it at Razor Emporium. And to buy one, replate it. Or buy one that was mint or near mint condition would be quite expensive. Definitely more than what my girlfriend paid for the one. So, brute green. Mm. Got some bite, guys. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit of bite. Um, so, yeah. 20 bucks, no problem, or 25, even if it was 30 bucks, no problem, it's worth it. So, I'll be going ahead and shaving with that beauty as soon as I get her back. So anyways, that was the shave. The tags once again, the shave was once again using three razors, one shave, three soaps, one bowl, soap, crope, and cream, and using the non-dominant hand. All squashed into one video, and my tags are, once again, everybody. Um, if you don't want to do it, that's cool. I understand. I have no problem with it. But if you're at home and you're bored and you want to switch it up a little bit, do it. It was interesting. I'll say that. Anyways, thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have a good one. hope you all take it easy. Have a great weekend. And I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.